Now to the Trump presidency and tough talk today from Vice President Mike Pence on North Korea. The administration is expected to unveil tough new sanctions. I'm announcing today that the United States of America will soon unveil the toughest and most aggressive round of economic sanctions on North Korea ever. His comments came during a news conference this morning. The vice president is on his way to South Korea to lead the U.S. delegation to the Winter Olympics. At one point yesterday, Pence did not rule out the possibility of a meeting with North Korean officials during his time in South Korea. Congressional lawmakers appear to be closing in on a spending deal that would keep the government open past the Thursday night at midnight deadline, even as the president says he would welcome another government shutdown if he doesn't get a deal on immigration reform. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang has the latest from Capitol Hill. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill say they are making progress on a bipartisan deal to avoid another government shutdown this year. I think we're on the way to getting an agreement and on the way to getting an agreement very soon. Tuesday, the House passed a short-term spending yeah. bill that would expire next month. Senate leaders are working on a two-year agreement that would increase spending for both the military and domestic programs, such as combating the opioid epidemic. But President Trump says if Congress doesn't pass immigration reform, he'd welcome a shutdown. Let's have a shutdown. We'll do a shutdown. And it's worth it for our country. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle quickly denounced the comments. We don't need a government shutdown on this. We really do. I think both uh, sides have learned that a government shutdown was bad. He's the only guy that finds anything good in a shutdown. The president's remarks took many by surprise since the proposed two year spending deal doesn't include any immigration changes, which Congress is tackling separately. Last month's shutdown ended after Republicans in the Senate promised Democrats a vote on the DACA program, protecting undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as children. Why can't we have some kind of a commitment on this side of the aisle? Wednesday morning, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said without a similar commitment from Speaker Paul Ryan, she and many other House Democrats will not support a long-term budget deal. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Capitol Hill.